Good morning. This is Peter. Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Cane Pole. Um, we stayed the weekend at Colleton, um, Colleton State Park, um, South Carolina, uh, right by the Edisto River. You know, get a little video of the river here shortly. But we stayed in the camper's cabin, which is this thing right here. As you can see, it has a fireplace because there's the um, chimney. It's just a little one room thing. It's got air conditioning. It's the middle of summer, you know, June or July, so that's why we stayed in it. Um, got a water spigot out front, but out back is really where you do anything. You can't cook inside. It has no bathroom, so we. There's the trail to the river. So we've had to go over to the bathhouse, which is not far away. So that's how we do things. Um, I'm going to do a little video of the inside after we get everything moved out and loaded up. The wife is, you know, washing breakfast dishes right now. Alright, this is part of the little day use area. Um, there's parking up on the other side of that bathhouse. You're not supposed to necessarily swim in the river. That's because they have a sign up that says, you know, no lifeguards swimming at your own risk, etc. But you can swim in the river. The Edisto River is pretty clean. That's the river down there. There are fish in it. We didn't fish there. We went ahead and fished at the club. But there's stairs leading down there. It's a little bit more difficult to get in the river. Or kind of a primitive dirt path. But it's, you know, just a nice little path. It's probably easier to take a path than the stairs. I'll show you the side of the cabin here. Um, but right here by the river, a little wash, you know, shower station for being in the river. At any rate, there's the wife cleaning dishes. Say hi. But there's the back of the cabin here. I'll walk over here to the picnic table and all. There's the picnic table where we got the little propane stove. And then you can see the fire ring. And they have a little park grill right there. And there, as you saw where the water was, there's the water on the back. And of course, the back of the air conditioner. Now, the cabin backs up to a little swamp. And I can't remember the name of the swamp. I will put it in the description. The water was actually a little higher when we got here, it's gone down a little bit. It rained earlier this week. There's a little swamp, a little island. The river actually takes a bend back over that way. Just the other side of the trees is where the river actually bends through. There's a little island right there. Um, didn't set out any crawfish traps. Didn't set out any um, set lines like I was thinking. Just enjoyed the day, went up to the club, swam and fished, and all that. Alright, once we get the stuff all packed up and put in the truck, I'll show you what's inside the camper's cabin. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to show you what you come into. Because it's really interesting that they have a few things in there. Alright folks, this is inside the camping cabin. I'm standing by the front door. It's got a double bunk here. That's a double bed on bottom, a single on top, or twin on bottom, and a single on top, whatever. And it's got another one over here with windows. All the windows have mini blinds. Trust me, at night, it gets real dark in here. I've got ceiling fans, ceiling fan lights. We actually added string to be able to turn the lights on and off because we wanted ceiling fans on all night. It's got an air conditioner picnic table. We still got a few things left. The wife is um, getting the food out the fridge. It's got four of these little chairs right here. Outer on deck looking things I guess. I'm not, I didn't sit in them. I used my own folding chair. There's plenty of room in here. It's got a fireplace for winter time. Trust me, I'm already um, doing a little sweating because you know we're loading up and it ain't but 9.15 or so in the morning. Yeah, something like that. Um, and then over here behind the wife, smile, is the fridge and the microwave. 
unexpected coffee maker, trash can, and then a little cabinet, you know, countertop that you can, you know, use to do things with games in it. I don't know if the games are supposed to be up at the stop. They do actually have filters for the coffee maker. Now, the important thing is, in the daytime, this side of the cabin is cool because of the air conditioner. That side of the cabin is a little bit warmer because this is a big, huge spot. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice or not. But, if you go over here, there's a fan on this corner. I come around this way. And a fan on that corner. Now there are three, there are three speed fans, high, medium, or low, medium, high. And when you turn those on and tilt them down where they blow towards, it takes the air conditioning and blows it around. Now there is one thing I want to address about this cabin. No, no, they push it. What? There's only built-in safety Oh, okay. When I first got here, she thought that the um, plugs I don't know if this will focus in or not. Hang on, we'll get a flashlight. Okay, yeah. See that little weight in the plug? We thought that somebody had broke off um, little safety caps in it. Turns out those actually push in, so they're kind of built-in safety. Um, we didn't realize that, so we unplugged the microwave to plug in the coffee pot. All right. This is the camping cabin at Colleton County State Park. I'm going to open this back door here. I'm going to show you the front door in a minute because it does something amazing, but that's the view out the back. And that's what I showed you where the cooking and all is. Great vines up through the swamp and all. Alright, I'm going to show you one more thing about... I'm going to show you one more thing about the whole thing and then we're going to call it a wrap up. Okay, now the one more thing I wanted to show you was the deadbolt system here. Um, this is just a normal deadbolt, but when you lock it up, I don't know if the green light will flash or not, but there's, yeah, the red light flashes right there. That's locked. All right, let's come outside and I'll show you the outside of it. I'll cut this out. All right, now, there's your door lock pad. Hit the lock. I'm sure you all heard that noise, that locked the door. Try opening the door, try opening the door. Okay, now, I'm gonna hide the code. And it unlocks. It's an electronic lock on the door. Yeah, I was, you know, how are we gonna get into the thing? And the um, ranger wasn't here, so we um, checked in with campground hosts and he gave us the code because he had her name and all on the list. And that's how you get in. Now, um, my next video is going to be a cooler modification that we did when we tried out this trip. And all right, yeah. smile, wave, you know, be a little more animated. Yes, thank you. Um, at any rate, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little short video about the camping cabin. I do recommend it. I actually recommend the cabins at the <laughs> other um, state parks as well. There are a lot more inclusive they have bathrooms and stuff like that now.